Right, so we're going to do a pastiche um, for Richard Sweeney. And the first thing I'm going to do is, like we've been doing, is a pastiche only needs to be small. So I'm just going to uh, create a box for the pastiche to go in, just to limit my space. So I'm not making it too large, because if you make it really large, it's going to take a really long amount of time to complete. Um, so I am just using this. There's my box. Um, now I've given you a image of what we are drawing. Um, it is on your Google Classroom. For those who can't remember which image it is, I will show you the image that we are looking at. So you can see this is the work of Richard Sweeney. He is a paper folder that makes structures. So like I said to you, this I think looks a bit like a bird of some sort, maybe like a cockerel. So I'm going to start off um, and may, um, in our picture, I'm going to kind of cut off the top of um, the sculpture as um, it's just space and I'm going to try and form or the outline of the shape okay so it kind of folds around like this I might be making this really loads too big but I'm gonna just go for it um, and then this kind of it goes, sweeps round like this. And then we have a kind of feathered shape that comes here, across here, and then down across here. Like that, I think. Um, and then from that, we've got something that hooks over like this and looks like something's tied around this bit here. And then this sweeps around and it kind of curves like that. And again, it looks like down here that the paper sculpture is held together with something here and here. Um, right, so this kind of opens up and that kind of goes to here. I think maybe it curves around a bit more. And then this section sweeps all the way around that part there and so that needs to be a bit of a better curve of course always have a rubber to hand and sweeps down so this kind of creates a kind of skirt shape which so let's have a look and then this bit here goes around here and I kind of think it goes like it kind of it's the folds that all come together then almost another one comes here and goes up so you get this kind of shape and it's kind of a join here it kind of has kind of legs and body shape 
from this photo of his work. Goes down like that, and there is a support here also. So how are we gonna show all the pleats is what all the folds is what you're thinking. I think. So well, that should this should really curve round a bit more here, I think. And go up a bit more here. I'm not happy with that line. And feel free to pause this video at any point if I go too fast. So this is the so the top. So I've kind of got my layout ish. Um, I think this sweeps across here and goes into the folds here. So I'm going to keep that line. This has got some sort of the pleats are going to come from here. Um, and at the top here, we have kind of lines going across here. So I'm going to start here at the top. And you can just about see the lines. But you can see the dark shadow as well across the shape that he's or sculpture that he's made. That goes across like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to show the dark and light. So we're going to use our dark shading. go across this shape here which I'm not sure if I got right I think I might have made it a bit too round so I'm going to flatten that a bit I think I'm happy with that observational skills um, so from here I can see the, the folds very lightly it's almost like a shell like this across this one And they are very light, so a little bit of light shading to be able to show the folds there, I think. And then from here, it kind of comes out like a, a fan. So we're going to have, so this is going to come out a bit more. I think, looking at this, it goes a little bit more higher, like that. And you get this sort of effect, lines coming down and fanning out it's almost like a cupcake case with the folds and pleats okay and again there's a little bit of shading towards the middle of the folds like this so lightly 
shade over the work. Clear line. Okay, so the shadow from the top sculpture, which is connected to this one, um, I think is coming up here like this. And then you can see the bend, it's kind of like the nose or eye. That's going round. So straight and then round. Like this. I'm not saying I'm managing to do all of the detail. Round and round. Oh, wait, that's a bit wide. And some of them go all the way around through and down. Round through down, round through and down, like that. Um, and there is this shadow here, which is kind of convenient for the kind of eye shape which you've got around this area. Then, so this bit here, which is going curving, this is more in the shadows, this shape. And then you get this dark shading here for this area of the image. There is some shading around here as well. Still trying to find that definition so you can go over it with more pressure. And there's a little bit of dark at the end as well where it's been held together. I think that's held together. Can't quite see all of that because of the lighting. Um, then we have this sweeping kind of skirt that comes across, which we've kind of started, but we need to get more shading and definition to show the shape of the folds so I'm gonna add some shading and it's all kind of grey the lighting even though we know the white the paper is white the shading due to the lighting looks grey so all the way up here we have Fanning, fanning, fanning skirt, which goes in to here somehow. Not sure why that line is there, maybe that was a mistake. And 
like shading through there so you can see that these are all folds you've got this shadow I think it's the shadow coming from this coming this way unless it's extra paper not sure but I'm going to include it um, and it kind of continues to the kind of legs I see them as kind of legs um, Right, so we've got the shape going here, and then we've got these lines. And I think this body section is much closer. It's kind of changing it because I, there it goes, more across here, almost like the backbone of the shape. I think my Mm, twisted paper so this one here has got a shadow as well Shading here to show the greyness. Uh, paper. And the clarity of the lines. So I'm aware that this curve here needs a bit more shading definition the lines are quite enough to give it the weight it needs is there a shadow underneath there some of them are much more swirly Adding a bit more definition there. Right, so I think that you can tell from that picture that I have been looking at that image. So I think I'm going to leave it there um i look forward to seeing yours okay do feel free to slow this down okay you can see the dark and light from the shadows and the way the light has caught the folds in the paper hopefully you can think about how you can describe those thank you